A pleasant day to each and everyone. I am Renalyn Simbahon and I was tasked to talk all about the following topics. First is the buying team and second is engaging customers or customer engagement. So first we have the buying team. Most people know that salespeople often operate in teams, but many of them fail to realize that the reverse is also true. In many companies, particularly larger ones, buyers also operate in teams. For salespeople, this buying team can require an entirely different sales strategy than the one they would use when selling to an individual decision maker. That's why it is important to understand what a buying team really is, why they are different from individual buyers, and how sellers can successfully approach buying teams. So what exactly is a buying team, and why does it matter? So as per definition, buying team is the group of individual making the buying decision or the who involved with making the decision. So in many enterprise organizations, a large B2B purchase, a uh, business to business, is considered too significant to leave it up to one person. So dili pwede nga isa ra katawang mo manage. In these situations, there may be one individual who gets the final say on whether or not a purchase is made. But that person will also depend on a whole team of influencers who share inputs and knowledge on a particular subject in order to make the decision-making process easier. So, mo na ni si Jah, mo na ni ang buying teams niya atong refer. So, buying team involves smart business people who come prepared, of course, because it is the business. Kung magpataka ra kag punit og tao, then most probably malugi yun mo negosyo. And while individual buyers have different functional and behavioral, behavioral rather frames of reference, they all have one thing in common. They are subject matter experts in the business of the account that they're working hard to win. Kinsa ba naman yung para malugi, di ba? Understand and be strategic in team selling. Devote the time and effort and will earn the right to make the alignment of team buying with the team selling a winning competitive advantage. So when it came to understanding the buying team, the group worked to understand the following. First is focus on individuals involved with making the decision. So these particular individuals must be focused on their respective roles. Second is decision role. So these are the roles of the buying team members. So first we have the decision maker. So decision maker is the person ultimately responsible for making the buying decision. Decision makers are people within the company who have the power to make strategic decisions like acquisitions, expansion, or investment. Some of the types of decision making may include tactical, organizational, policy, operating, personal, program, and even non-program decisions. So, this person in charge ani must be a decision or wise in decision making i mean second is influencer buying team members who influence to buying the session but do not make it so igo ra sila mo influence the influencers are the tech personnel who help develop specs and evaluate alternate products they are important when products involve new and advantaged technology so more on um, innovative sila, aris sila sa innovations mo contribute. Then, third is recommender. Buying team members who are tasked with making a recommendation on a decision, so more on suggestions or mag-recommend sila mga ideas with regards a product. It is easy to get confused about recommendation systems as they are also called recommender systems or recommendation engines. 
All of these perform the same actions. There are the systems that predict what your customers would want by analyzing their behavior, which contains information on past preferences. Kana bitong ano ilan silang ilan ng ibase sa kanang mga product reviews or kanang irate comments. Kaya take for example, balit kag shampoo, nga antay hair fall, kung effective ba na si Jo or de, so dira sila mag-base sa ilang ika-recommend na pod nga to sa bago na pod nga product. Then, fourth is the approver. The one who choose and approve the products. Of course, from the word approver. Buying team members who are not involved with making the decision but need to approve funding for the decision. So, funds, no? Ang finance, kaya sa man ang plan, raptanan, jaway mo finance. Then, fifth is the gatekeepers. Gatekeepers are typically secretaries and tech personnel. They control the flow of information to and among others within the buying center. Buyers who deal directly with a vendor are gatekeepers. No, sila so sila ang makikatubang, sila ang makikassociate, sila ang makinegotiate, makideal with, sila mo na sila ang gatekeepers. So third is the relationship, the buying team's relationship towards us. So first, they must sponsor us. No. Buying team members who are willing to take the risk on our behalf as consumers. So, kibali, as kita buyer, morag, be, moris, bako ni nga product or dili. So, inga na sila. Backs us. Buying team members who actively supports us, but only when it is not risky to do so, no? So, kung di na kayo risky, so, na, naagyapo na to ang kanang, kibali, burden kung moris, bajuta, or dili. Third is neutral or unknown, no clear preference shown. So mura na siya kung asay asay nindo so ato ta ingen ako asay mas pabor ato ta. Fourth is back competition. Buying team members who actively support the competition, but only when it is not risky to do so. No, and then fifth. Is sponsors competition, buying team members who are willing to take the risk on the competition's behalf. So, despite of the competition, bisag kay bawo siya nga morag, ah tight ang competition mo go gi happen siya. So mo na sila ntolo, focus, decision, role, and relationships. So why really buying teams matter? Buying teams matter because a significant portion of enterprise organizations now make their buying decisions using them. So without buying teams, lisod para nila ang muhim o decision making kung mo purchase ba sila ang mga product or dile. So another thing na ng significant ang buying team. They are the real prospects for they first provide the consensus and change management that must be addressed before a purchase. Second is coordinate the details of a need to include each voice involved with a new solution. So, without the whole team assembled, we're merely hoping we've got a prospect regardless of how targeted our social or content marketing efforts. Comprise of any number of people, bali friends, colleagues, family, business partners. The buying decision teams offer ideas, agreements, arguments, and a forum to uncover the full complement of needs. No, so kung kibali wani sila, murag dili ma dili masapa lang atong tanang panginahanglan kibali. Kay, sure, without buying team, so. Murag ang basihan rap nila is ang ilaram panginahanglan mismo. They won't be they won't be able to listen sa mga suggestions and ideas sa uban and recommendations so on and so forth for the improvement of the product na ilang i-offer sa ilang target market. So that's it. And then now we come to customer engagement or engaging with customers. So as you've seen in the picture. Puzzles, di ba nga? 
ay doha ka nag-push. So, sa picture pala mandaan is, in order to make it as a whole, dapat you guys must be working together, hand in hand, I don't more work. So, that's how um customer and marketer relationship or kanang from business to consumers. So, as per definition, engaging customers is the ongoing interactions between company and customer offered by the company and chosen by the customer. No? Customer engagement is an estimate of the degree and depth of visitor interactions against a clearly defined set goals. That's according to Eric Peterson on how do you calculate engage- engagement part 2. While the Smile team defined it as the degree and depth of brand focus interactions as customer chooses to perform. Engagement marketing's motto is ask not how you can sell but how you can help. Since ang kaning customer engagement mong good is um, the marketers is trying to get or capture the heart. No, di ras jayan basta attention. So, mo nang ingon diri is ask not how you can sell but how you can help. Kaya nga naman, di ba? Kung mutabang ta, so marag, magkuha na, no, magkuha, di siya ingon mura, but magkuha dyan na to ang kanang loob, anang tawhana. To trust us, to listen to us, to pay attention diri na to willingly. Just because ato siya natabangan. So, marag, mag, mukaan na adara ang kanang mutong adara ang utang na loob na iyang tanaw na to. So, it's the other um, easier way of selling. Kibale. So, there are ways to authentically engage with customers. So, first is offer customers real value. Engagement marketing means leading with content, not products. That's how um Sony says and that content must be genuinely useful to your customers for for it to be a meaningful engagement strategy it's advertising as a service as opposed to advertising as interruption Sony says essentially you're not offering customers value in exchange for their attention so automatically kibale if your advertisement is kanang naas siya importance jod, then di siya yun nga marag ni interrupt pa siya na to kay most of the time ba ya pag kita as um the audience pag mag-feel na to nga marag nonsense sila nga advertisement so marag instead nga makot atong attention marag maanoy na hinun ta kay na interrupt ta just for just for that nonsense ra so the content must be leading siya klaro you are willing to engage with the customers. Now, must mo prevail dira ang engagement process, not because na maligya ka. But, you have to um, capture the emotions, the heart, or kung sa pa pwedeng ma-capture nila. So, that's how you're gonna offer customers real value. Dapat, worth, worth the pay sa ilang attention ang value nga imong i-offer nila as consumers. So, second is build a community. A key part of engagement marketing is giving customers an opportunity for a dialogue, not only with your brand, but with each other. You can get the conversation started by asking for opinions and insights, weighing in on interesting trends, and bringing customers together in online social sharing communities. So, kung kabantay mo na ganin ka ng mga reviews sa product, or ka ng mga suggestions suggestions nila ilang preference so muna si Jadara Aki ah, uh, communication is the key pero di basta nga ka nang nag-comment comment ka dira ng story story mo dira but dapat it's communication with comprehension or understanding kay without comprehension di maghihapon magkahihusa magkagubot maghihapon mas masamot nga ka nang magka, magkabuwag buwag so that's it 
It's advertising as a service as opposed to advertising as interruption. So, ganiha, it's quality. Karon, service na po siya. So, unsa mo ikaalagad, unsay na ang nga product nga, makaserve nila as your consumer. Essentially, you're offering customers value and exchange for their attention still. Dapat essential na nga idea, essential na nga quality, essential na nga service yung nga ika-offer sa imang product in exchange for their attention. Aron bitaw kibali mo rag, mutatak sa ilang, mutatak silang utok, mutatak silang kasing-kasing, ya ka na nga product is, ah, kani nga product ato is worthy ni si Jack, ay mo ni mauna, nindo si Jack, nindo si Jack quality, nindo si Jack service yung nga ma-offer, so that's it. Example ane is like, Nike traditionally relied on media advertising to promote its concept of bringing out the athlete in you. Recently, it shifted towards personalized customer service. Rather than putting all of its resources into a single ad campaign for sneakers, Nike now advertises by giving customers workout advice and helping them build online communities around the theme of fitness. Nike Plus, a website meant to make it easy to track one's fitness progress, is part of this new effort. Nabi to, diba? Kanang kung ilan ang ipakita ko kung saan nila nga mag-work out using their product. So, when customers engage with you on social media, you can leverage their, their loyalty to your brand. Yung nga naka-influential ang technology and social media. Many of them will be evangelists that will help spread the world. The word, I mean. Kay ilan naman ang i-refer or may na sila sila mga colleagues, friends, and families nga. Uy, kanya ato nga brand, sis. Kanang inganingan, nag-provide sila na to. Ganang mga tips on how to live a healthy life, to become fit. Then third is to inspire people. No, it's one way of captivating the heart of your consumer. So, people value useful information and convenience. But, they also wanted to be inspired. So, if that ka nang tulo, mag-uba na sila the information, the convenience, and inspiration, then, bus ay, you got it. Mukit siya na yung product. One way to inspire customers is to share your brand's vision, no? Say, for example, Corning, a glass company, put a video called A Day Made of Glass which showcases the inspiring possibilities of the day in near future when the high-tech class is produce, uh, produces in the homes and offices of everyday customers. You're trying to paint a picture of the future that is inspiring and show that you can play an important role in the future. This is especially relevant for companies who are trying to build next-generation technology, so it's the perfect um, example for it. And second example is, Starbucks has released similar videos promoting fair trade coffee. And a new marketing initiative have been more successful than the than that of Tom's. The e-commerce company that promises if you buy a pair of its shoes, it will give a pair of poor child somewhere in the world. No? So, kibali, besan si egg napakay sapatos, but for the sake ng morag, inigpalit ni mo, makatabang ka, so mapalit jud ka and na akaroy bago um I don't know if it's for buyers but I guess appeal pa sa buyers pero more on engagement sa just employees I don't know if everyone is familiar or have seen this kay nagkano ni siya nag namin siya sa online sa Facebook kana ang bagong advertisement bitaw sa Nescafe or No, packaging nila, exactly. Packaging nila to be exact. Nga na ay mga nouns sa ilang employees. So, kana po siya, is maka-inspired pa na siya sa mga tao. Kaya marag, hala, kanang, kibali, as ako, marag, by tiyos na sa coffee bike, kaya they were able to recognize or ilang i-appreciate kitagaan nila kanang, kanang marag, part dito sa kanang ilang organization or consider dito nila as a family or a team ang ilang mga kanang mag ka nang nagtrabaho para nila so usap na sa just maka agni sa mga consumers fourth is provide entertainment value so in addition to being inspired 
customers like to be entertained. Kinsa ba na may ganyan ma-board, di ba? Just like karon ron, mahibaw ay ma-board na mami na yung ano yung taas na sa Jaka Adyo, nagpataka na kong jama-jama. So, a huge opportunity for engagement marketing is the entertainment value. For example, Marriott International has also taped into the passion for social media gaming by launching My Marriott Hotel, a Facebook game that invites players to manage their own virtual hotel. So, kanang ikaw rin maghimo-himo, ikaw mag-design, imo mga ideas kung how certain things on the hotels must be placed. So, yun na. For Marriott, this is both a marketing tool and human resource strategy. In addition to generating interest of the Marriott brand, the game is meant to make a hotel staff positions more attractive, especially in countries where such jobs are considered manual. So, while nalingaw ka, while nalingaw ang mga customers, nakatabang po nila at the same time. So, it's like hitting... Two birds with one stone. Fifth is keeping the conversation going. So, related gani sa hong ingon nga. Building community. So, you must learn how to listen, how to pay attention, how to accept feedbacks. Dapat ingat. Keep the conversation going is part of what it means to have an always-on approach to marketing is that you're in a constant dialogue with customers. Aron di sila mataha, di sila magliso, di sila magpanagana, di sila makaingon nga. Adi nalaman taingan lang kung ano ay kay ka nang isugro ba ka ang marketing staffs inga na nila. Mahuminal di tara magpangutan on, masuko ra ba na yung mga suggestions, di ba sila open-minded. So, as marketers pohon or be part of the buying team or kana sa mga mo engage dapat open ta always on to do this well requires frequent innovation no since sige man tag accept og mga suggestions feedbacks kibali man sila nga oh kanang ang ijo sa patos kay kanang medyo sakit mo sa TL so the next time nga mag-release tag products dapat with accordance na sa kung sa ilang na-suggest, kaya aron mo click ta. Aron makita nila nga, we are listening. Di sila, di sila hangin. Wala sila naging stress sa hangin na ay padul nga ng ilang mga suggestions. So, it also means staying relevant and responsive to customer issues as they arise. Highly responsive companies are quick to nip service problems and abide through tactful communications. Having a public relations, blunders that can quickly go viral from well-connected customers. No? So, saan is makatabang na? Connected mo sa usagusa. If marketing works best when customers feel like they have a genuine relationship with the brand, one that is interesting, mutually beneficial, and steady, that relationship needs to be sustained. No? Kay once imo po nang put doon, so mara silang madiscourage. And you know the impact of the words of mouth. Ngayon mo silang, may silang nga. Kung ano man to sa una ilang sapatos, humuk man to. Diyan nga nang nanggalit na mapagbalik nga ka nang ninggahe na po si Diyan. Andi na po siya comfortable sa otto. Nasa marag, adi na taan na nga brand. Uy, mamalihin na tadiris sa kanang kuan. Ngayon nasa mag-antos man tadira ang mantine raman. O, diba? Fifth is, make your customers a part of a team. So, we all have to feel like we're a part of a team. And your customers are no exceptions. If you notice a customer has launched a new charity or released a product of their own, don't hesitate or don't be hesitant to promote them on their, on your social media accounts. Or, pwede rin po siya nga atong i-highlight sa mga kanang stories or loyal cons- customer each month. Mga ingan. Mm, pwede po siya. Like for example, if you celebrated your 10th year in business or kanang mga anniversary, kung pinanam ka years and decades na ba mo, Celebrate with your customers by offering them a discount or coupon or kanang imo ipa-feel nga. Appeal sila sa imong journey. Okay, without customers, jabo mo po na imong business. Imo silang imbitahon, nga mo atin sa anniversary party or you'll be giving promos to them. Not only does this make them feel like they're part of a team, but this also thing, this also thanks them for their years of loyalty, no? reward kibali kumbaga kay ning stick sila sa imong product ning stick sila sa imong business when supposed to di na man jud daghang kapilian 
Finally, you could ask your customers to co-create content like adding a new chapter to your ebook or asking them to have some fun like new Belgium did the uh, did with the Reddit users or take for example is mo import sila sa engine products mo suggest sila nga ka nang innovate is inga ni na pod inga ni inga na and then sixth is share exclusive content or offers mo na ning mo provide provide your customers with exclusive content such as a case study or offer like kanang 10% off coupon, kanang mga discounts, uh, 50% off, yun na. You could even release exclusive content or deals on your kanang Facebook sites, mga blog, kanang page sa inyong business. Yung mo na, na mo yung nga kanang promo. So, many companies offer a mobile, mobile first influencer platforms where you can engage and leverage with key influencers across many social network. So, siguro na iuban ninyo nag-wonder nga mo, ano yung nga naman kakuti maki-engage of kanang customers, oy? It's because the ultimate goal of engagement is to build an emotional connection with the brand. Ikaw, as kanang the bis- who owns the business, dapat na amoy kanang solid na connection sa Nakay solid nga connection sa imong customers through the brand. It's a process that leads to intimacy and advocacy. It's not a single transaction but an ongoing conversation. You can't expect customers to tune in only when you have the product to launch. You need to have a constant presence nila. Okay, what if kanang kibali nawa ka? You're out of the line tapos ta kita sila mas better kita sila glain nga mas bago so you have to keep in touch aron ma-maintain nimo ang ilang loyalty aron naa nimo ang ilang loyalty di nila ihatag sa lain so now anata sa customer engagement cycle basically customer engagement cycle is a cyclical process of relationship building starting from being completely unknown to extending your brands Further out into customer base, which supports, purchase, and promotes the many great things pertaining to your product. You need to develop a digital marketing strategies that are based on the whole customer's experience, not only marketing or sales. For a moment, you need to take off your marketing hats and begin thinking like a customer. Of course, kay, we have to put ourselves sa ila pong shoes. Kay, also, na to pagkasabot ni life. Dili tayo nga na if kibali self-centered yata kayo. So, Ari rajita mustik sa atong pagtuo, sa atong perspectives, the way we see things, atong perceptions. So, naninda pa ka, di ba? Wala kaya, pwede mo palit kung yung nga na mong kuan kay. We all have ka ng lahi-lahi nga taste na ay nindot para nimo pero di nindot para nila. Na ay lami para nimo pero di sila lamian. Na ay ganahan ka pero bati para nila. So, yung nga na, that's why dapat open jod communication go, going ongoing ra communications so here is an image on the customer engagement cycle so first we have the awareness so you should ask yourself what customers require want at each stage of the cycle with respect to specific industry stage and description so for the awareness of customers no so money ang kanang wa pa di sila knowing as hindi pa sila kaila si mong product kibalik kung ikaw gi mong uyab before totally stranger pa jud mo kanang maglabay-labay pa mus usag usa so same as this so haven't previously heard of your product services or brand so you should make a good first second third impression as long as nindot siya makatabang siya nindot og effect Kibali mag kung sa trabaho pa mga apply ka is mag-build ka o good credentials aron ka daw aton. Aron i-consider ka sa cons- uh, customer aron ila ka ang makita when they're, when they're further along the engagement cycle. So that is before. Second is consideration. Tungod kay nindot mga credentials, nindot man kibali kag image, nindot man ang impressions na imong ma-build. So 
ila kang i-consider para sa lag, ah, tryan ka nina to. Take for example, si nai nang uyab ni mo, so morag, tryan ka nina si Koan, kaya basig nindot, nindot siya, mo work me, tarungon ko niya, i-love ko niya. So, ingan nga narap mo si Jadapit sa kanang din sa in-engage. So, in consideration, you are looking or searching for in- information. So, they can research and compare between the competitors and the offerings, no? So, you should be open. Kung baga kang Ellen Adar na pa, ah, bisan mo abot pa nag-20 ka book imong ang manguyab ni mo, then why not, di ba? Aran mas, mas daghang kapilian. So, yun na. You need to communicate your value proposition to them and build up their confidence in your brand. So, they'll purchase from you. So, dapat ikaw as product or as the marketer, the owner of the business, dapat nindod yun yung product. Yung mo yung rest assured nga. If there's something in your product that must stand up among the rest, kay, since tight ba yaka ayaw ang competition sa kanang business industry, kay, um, building of business is rampant nowadays. Then, third is the purchase. So, katong awareness and consideration, mo tas dyan before, ibaliwa pa to, di pa mo, nag-ila-ila pa mo and getting to know each other. So, there is a purchase, mo palit na ka. Purchase are um, usually busy people and they want to make purchase buy in a way that's convenient for them. So, you need to be flexible as possible and make it simple and straightforward for the customer to make a purchase. Mabito na rin na yung mga kanang online shopping, tapos delivery, free, de- free delivery, free, free shipping. May ga din ako katigong mga istorya. <clears throat> so, that's the during process, no? As convenient, kay Ang bisan siguro kita is masukol na lang tag muader tagamay sa price sa kanang kuan aron laman ma free delivery gyud siya kay kapoy na labi na kong pagkaon kay gusto tag inigabot mo kaon na laman din ata mag commute mo baktas mo pila kada bitong samasen pa sa bay nga door to door na sila dina ka mo anhag Jollibee nga mag QR code mag face mask pa ka mo pila pa ka ngayon na naman buhaton inigabot sa inyo sa order is mo kaon na lang ka so that's the purchase Then, second is the support. So, customers want to buy food from brands which will provide good services and good support. Kinsa ba na may ganahan po palit sa kanang? Like for example, sapatos. Karoon yung magipalit, ugma, naguba. So, ensure you support the customers with any issues, compla- complaints, or questions they have made. So, naaka nakaalalay. Charles, na alalayan. Naka nga, willing mo alalay without hesitation. Kaya usang mo nas maka, murag, maka-captured nila nga. Ah, diri ko, mustay ko diri kay willing silang ingana. Willing sila mo alalay, hand in hand. Di ka nila, di ka nila i-left hanging just because ho ba nakag-purchase. So, ana. And then, the after, after sa purchase and support. Dira na mo arrive ang loyalty. So, customers like being appreciated and rewarded for all the business they're providing you. You can offer recognition and incentives for all the loyal customers. No? Kay, since lo- once loyal yung customers, then they're gonna stick on you. Bisan daghan products nila o nila sila, o nimo o nimo sila mo, mo palik-balik o palit. Ila pa kang i-recommend. Words of mouth, ila kang himoon as kanang i-prefer ka sa uban, i-refer ka nila, ila kang i-sort of advertise or kanang as recommendations, suggestions nga ito sa laing tao nga kanang kailara po nila nga, oy, dire nga product since kanang they, they know how to appreciate you as a consumer na kay reward when you can stick on them, so yun na. And then um, advocacy. This is the last. Kauban sila sa loyalty. Loyalty and advocacy. Customers who are happy with an experience they happen to encounter with their brand or services are most likely to recommend your brand to their peers. So, mga pwede din diri ah, guys. Katong, i-recommend na nila ang imong products sa ilang mga kaila, colleagues, family, friends, o kinsa padadara. You can empower them with the ability to spread the word easily in behalf of your business. O, see? 
once you have this, kanang mag-gain ni mo ilang loyalty, sila na mismo ang mo-advocate ni mo. Tinakaingon nga. Mas mapasa yun kibali, kumbaga, ang imong pag-market sa imong product, since sila, sila na mismo ang mo-introduce, mo or sila mismo ang mo-recommend. And lahi ba yaki bali pag ka ng close friend na to, ang mo-recommend na to, kayo mo rabi dyan yung madanita kay once trusted, tapos mo rabi, ninot di, ay, sige-sige mo, try, o, yun na. So, kaning, um, six stages sa cycles, so, each of the stage represents opportunity to form or make a much deeper relationship with your customers. Tinan ako, i-explain nga nung mas mo deep ang ilang enjoy relationships from business to customers. Kinasul, tinan ako ganiha, and customer engagement cycle can be described as a chain in which we're only as strong as the weakest link. Any kind of breakage along this chain means you could lose customers as they pass through it. So, any of the six nga ma-miss ni mo, either awareness ba, consideration, or kanibang loyalty, or support, wana. Wana, madaot na. Take for example, nindot kayo kag um, credentials, nindot kayo kag impressions, pero you weren't able to support your consumer. So, you think, loyal pa sila. So, you think i-advocate pa kanila. So, dili na, diba? So, marketers or business owners must always keep in their mind that the customers do not actually care where they're in the engage- kung asa na silang apart sa engagement cycle. Oh my God, din ako katigong mga istorya, guys. Sorry. Ang ilara is kung kanang the, the cycle as a whole. Dito sila magbasi, magbasi kung consider man mo. Basta gamay yung sipyat lang. Huwag na sila ipakialam kung asa sila nga stage. Daba sila consideration. Daba sila support, loyalty, advocacy. Na kayo sang mamis. Madiscourage na sila. Um, these consumers do not see what happens or occurs behind the scenes and only care about personal experiences with the brand as a whole, as the entire brand. Apil lang imong business name, Anna. Okay, more reflect mana sa dyan. So, cycle is for your prefer- reference either. So, the, so as you help you prove... So as to help you provide the customers with long-lasting, positive, rewarding experience while they interact with your brands. So, make your um brands worth the worth the stay, charot. Dapat worth it kasi tayhan. Dapat you have really something ah, uh, was sa uban. So we are now in the benefits of customer engagement. So, um, first is increased cross sell. I mean, na ko sa can start. So, cross selling is the process of selling a different product or service to a customer to increase the value of a sale. It is often com- confused with upselling, which is anything that increases the price and functionality of the original purchase. So, for example, kana sa mga fast food chain. <clears throat> Consider a fast food employee asking you if you want fries with your burger kasi sa Jollibee ka nang maingan tanga. Kibali mo order tag Y1. Ang Y1 is na nasadyay ka ng regular fries, drinks, and regular na burger. So, mga tanabi na sila, large atong drinks, ma'am. Or, di ni mo ilarge ang fries, ma'am. So, that is upselling. Ang cross-selling is, take for example, mo order kag burger alone, solo. Mo yun sila nga. Di, di ni mo pare sa fries, ma'am. Or how about the drinks, ma'am? So, mo na yung cross-selling ka na ilay combine ng imong product with other product, which is ka nang paired dapat sila or related kay para mas mudako ang imong mabayaran or mas mutaas ang ilang halin. So, continuing with the past food example, Ang upsell might include asking customer if they want to supersize or upsize. Nang mga nga, di ni may upsize yung drinks, ma'am. <clears throat> so, they're trying to uh, sell you a more expensive version of your original purchase. So, that is increase cross-selling. 
Then, second to the last was Riddle's Churn. So, on sa din ang churn, marag, maski na ko, es bago na siya sa akong pandungog ang bot ninyo. So, churn is defined as the measure of how many customers stop using a product. So, kana ni undang sila. Take for example, sa kanang mga rejuvenating products. Nga was sila ni Angay. Kay Isugra Kaadyo, Hapdo Sanaong. So, means stop sila. So, preventing churn is the key to improve revenue. So, simply put, churn rate as the rate which cons- consumers cut ties with your service at a given period. So, this percentage gives you a clear idea about your customer retention, which is an important factor defining the company's success. Kaya ang saan alaman kung di ka katigumutan na ani niya, ikaw, si ka, take for example sa brilliant, nga katong brilliant skin di pull out man di pa pull out man sila sa FDA since na anay ka ng mga chemicals chemical contents na makadaot makadaot sa panit and maka affect sa eating habits sa maka consume ana so ang saan nalaman kong kibali di ka conscious ba yun ana sige kag produce kag produce or produce knowing nga ang uban di ang mga users is nang stop na sila so malugi ka kung mauhon And then, it increased referrals. So, muna itong ganiha. Once ganahan sila sa product, no need na na masuguon, automatic na nilang eh, refer nga. Uy, palitingan ni, palitingan na. Kay ninotis dyan, anak nga ni, maka, makawa ni mga melasma or what, maka, makawa si jag acne, mga scars, mo fade. And then, since, kung ninot ka ka ng record, si mo, ninot siya record yung mga product, ninot siya ka ng smooth ra sa jod and maka-increase og purchase kay kung mo palit ta dapat tong mga imong gireferan kibali imong gireto kibali nakagireto sa imong friend sa iyang gisugot o sila na nga na rapod na sa jod sa dire increase purchase and then increase brand loyalty once maka you were able to cross sell tapos malesson nimo ang kanang mga mustap o gamit sa imong product and daghang mo refer So, mataas ang purchase. And then, I don't know, just a brand loyalty. Na ka nang bisan daghan ang product and bisan mahal ang imong product kesa sa uban nga product. Basta kay nakita nila nga it's quality based and dili sila yung nga gimang tiniran-ran ni mo. Then, di ko na stick on it. Like, for example, para bas ka nang kibali. Na kay uyab, tapos makakita kang mas gwapo. Pero ka nang imong uyab, bisan di ka just siya gwapo is maayos siya mo dani mo, pinangga ka. So, ari ju ka sa, ari ju ka si Moyab, di na ka magpadasa ka tong mas guapo, mas dato, or what, kung sa ika-provide, ari ka sa kanang mas love ka. Char lang. And then, it will increase the revenue of the business. Kaya mo, maju na i-aim, di ba? Kisa ba yung namaligya para malugi? So, supo, nga, mo ganing magnegosyo, aron, maka, magkaahon, or maka-change ka ng social status, kay, pumalay ko nina, na dato sa pagpanarbaho, na mo kuno na sa kanang, Ikaw na, ikaw na ang amo, ka na, ikaw na yung so, so, increase revenue. And if ma, two man is lang, unom ka buo, then, it wouldn't be impossible for you to sustain the life of your business, and, you know, mas sigira kag expand, 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 and to sa, tato na. And then, so, na-discuss na mas siguro na kung why custom, Customer engagement matters. So, ano naman yung basahon. At its heart, customer engagement is more than just having repeat customers. It is the significance of an emotional connection formed between the consumer and you as a marketer or the business owner. A highly engaged customer places more belief in your products, spends more in them, promote them, and also shows more loyalty. Data by Brand Keys uh, shows that a loyalty increase of 7% in lifetime gains per customer by 85%, while a loyalty increase of 3% can bring down costs by 10%. O, diba? So, dako na kayong tabang ang loyalty sa consumers. Another research by Gallup also shows that a fully engaged customer represents a 23% higher premium in wallet shares. Profitability, rela- profitability, relationship growth, and revenue than the average one. 
So that's how important buying team and engaging with customer is. So point po hon, if you guys or kita will be on our designated field, kaloy as ginoo. Yeah, mag marketer nita. So we shouldn't neglect the impact of both buying team and engagement or engaging with customers kay usanas atong mga keys or mulahutay ta sa inga ng industry. So that could be all kay Kadlaw nang. So this is Renalyn Simbahon reporting. Char. Bye guys!